Yo, what's going on people? Guns blazing back at it again, this time giving you a level 40 Yami Merrick farm deck. This basic idea was from Duel Link's Game Press, so credit to them, link in the description. I did change around a couple of cards because it adds consistency to the deck. If you're the type of person that has questions about replacements or how to play the deck often, then stick around. I will be explaining everything, don't skip any parts of the video. Anyways, what we have here is an unhappy girl, holy guard setup to lock down Yami Mary's front row. Then we got Rai Mei to fish out Unhappy Girl, just in case we don't have one in our starting hand. And our finishing combo is, on the second last turn, we Dimension Hole a set Summoner of Illusions. And on the last turn, we flip up the Summoner of Illusions, tribute our Unhappy Girl on the field, Secret Pass Union Union, and attack for game. We have Solemn Wishes because we need the healing to counteract Yami Merrick's Burn Damage. And we got Magical Malay because if we bottom deck Summoner of Illusions or Dimension Hole, then this deck is not going to work. So Magical Mallet gives you a chance to redraw those cards into your hand. And we got Anti-Magic Arrows which stops his attack on the last turn. Hopefully you picked one up from Arcana, but if you don't have it, just use Storm. And let's get into those other replacements. If you don't have Solemn Wishes, use Aegis of Gaia. If you don't have Magical Mallet, just use Reload if you don't have either of them. Then you have an extra slot which you can use for whatever you want. You can use an enchanted javelin or an extra shard if you have it. If you don't have the union attacks, you can take them out and take out Vassal. And you're going to be using Gift of the Martyr and Piranha Army instead. This also gives you an extra slot. That also gives you an extra slot to use for whatever you want. Maybe an extra enchanted jab. And if you're using Piranha, you can also use... Master of Oz, or if you don't have Blue Eyes Ultimate or Master of Oz, just take whatever strongest fusion monster you have. Hopefully, he has at least uh, 3,000 attack. So, let's say you have Me, Your B. You can use that as well, and you can use Rear Yoku before you use your Gift of the Martyr to get your Piranha over 5,000 attack. The thing about using Piranha instead of Vassal Union is that you will have 1,000 less points than if you had Vassal Union. If you don't have Shard of Greed, you can use Jar of Greed. Shards are not completely necessary because they're just there to speed up the farm. But everything else in this deck is pretty much irreplaceable. If you don't have 3 Unhappy Girls, go pick them up. You will need them in the future as well. Raime, you might be able to replace with Crystal Seer. But anyways, let me show you the demonstration of this deck. So this is a level 40 Yami Marik. I'm going first. It's kind of disadvantageous because uh, you have less consistency, but luckily I pick up the Rhyme May. Actually, it's a pretty high chance to draw either a Crystal Sea or a Rhyme May, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Just set the Rye and pop my shard. It goes in on me, which allows me to fish out my, uh, my unhappy girl from my deck. Solemn Wishes is also key in this deck because it allows you to counteract the the damage you get from Merrick's Shadow Game. And as you can see, I attack into his monster which locks it down, prevents it from attacking. And I take no battle damage because of, once again, Teya's Holy Guard skill. Pop my Solemn Wishes. He, he's summoning monsters but he's not going to attack into your unhappy girl. Oh, is that healing is uh, keeping me at a safe amount of life points so that he can't lethal me through spam attacking my unhappy girl. This is key, do not summon a second unhappy girl or else he will summon Lava Golem by tributing both of your monsters. But keep it in your hand in case he summons his Des Visor because it will destroy your unhappy girl that you have on the field. So you need a backup unhappy girl in your hand. As you can see, our life points are high enough, so even though he has um, these high attack monsters on the field, he can't attack us for lethal. That's also what Enchanted Javelin is for. So if he tries to attack you with his uh, Masked Beast, you Enchanted Jab, it locks it down. And you don't die. As you can see, I'm just attacking into whatever, he mo whatever monsters he puts out. Locking them down, preventing them from being able to attack. At this point, the farm is pretty much successful as long as we draw... Um, what's his face? Our Summoner of Illusions and our Dimension Hole before the, the second last turn. 
and we already have our dimension hole. What I do with my Raime here is I crash into it because once again I don't take any damage and I get to speed up the farm by fishing out an unhappy girl. Magical Mallet is here in case you don't get your Dimension Hole and your Summoner of Illusions by the second last turn. So these Solemn Wishes are just uh, keeping my life points nice and high, keeping my booty nice and safe. So I pick up my Summoner of Illusions, therefore a Magical Mallet is no longer needed. It's my turn. Draw. I'm a... <laughs> it's pretty straightforward in this stage of the thing, you just uh, keep ending your turn, dropping whatever you don't need. It's my turn. There will come a time where um, you're going to have all combo pieces in your hand, so you can't afford to drop any of them. In that, in that case, I'll show you what you need to do, you basically just set your Dimension Hole. I can drop my unhappy girl now because Des Visor is not going to have any space to come onto the field anymore and he's not going to tribute monsters anymore it seems. So yeah at this point everything's pretty much a combo piece so I have to set dimension hole. Second last turn is coming up so pay attention to this boys and girls. Draw that card. I set Summoner of Illusions in face down defense position, use Dimension Hole to banish it from the game and end my turn. And next turn is the turn that we go all the way inside on this boy. Okay. So I'll pick up that last card. Dimension Hole brings our Summoner of Illusions back. You flip it. Tribute your unhappy girl. Get your blue eyes ultimate dragon out. Get your Vassal out. Secret Paths, Union Union. There you go. And then once you enter your battle phase, you're gonna get prompted for anti-magic arrows. Pop that right away. And this will prevent his trap nightmare wheel from stopping your Vassal. Just attack directly, that's over 10,000 damage. And this particular farm deck got me 7,400 points. Which is, you know, kind of sad that it's not 8,000, but it's the best that I got right now. And if you're using Piranha, it'll be uh, over 6,000, so keep that in mind. Alright, so here's another one that uses Labyrinth Builder, an alternate version. It was posted in my Discord by one of my members by the name of Silvius, so credit to him. It's much faster than the Unhappy Girl one, it's just that, you know, not everyone has Paradox Bros, but the deck is pretty straightforward. What you do with this deck is that you just pop Labyrinth Builder ASAP, slap down a Yellow Luster Shield, and he will not be able to get past that. Unless, of course, he tributes a Des Guardius for another Des Guardius, which can steal your wall, but that doesn't happen often. On the final turn, you use Shield and Sword, switch your Labyrinth into Attack Mode, Special Summon your Fiend Mega Cyber, Summon your Gravekeepers with Saul, Secret Pass, Union Union, and then attack for game. Anyways guys, hope you get some nice farms in, and this is Guns Blazing, signing out.